many times is he going to find himself again? I feel like I'm watching the sisterhood of the traveling pants. Every five minutes, this guy's like, I need to go find myself again and put on these jeans. and White, white male. White male. So you need to make him gay and dumb. Did you see that gay make scene too gay in the trailer? Yeah. It wasn't right. Okay. It wasn't a fucking gay scene. And anyone who says that, I'm going to fucking punch your fucking teeth to the back of your head. It, this is this is the problem that we fucking have, right? Uh, fucking Star Lord says, I look at all the people when I don't know where to find myself. I look at the people I love, and it's looking at the Guardians because those are the guys that he loves. Thor wants to be involved in that because he's not looking at Thor. So Thor keeps moving his head to get in his eye line because he wants to be loved. Don't Wait, we all want to be loved? And everyone's, the internet was just like, oh my God. I fucking died for this gay thing. I bet Chris Pratt was going mad for this gay well, thing. And I'm just no, like, I, I, I absolutely believe that was a Taika Waititi oh. like little wink to Chris Pratt. All the the controversy. I, I believe exactly, Gary. I, I, that's what I, I thought. I think he's that petty. I'll ruin your you. You know, everybody like, like remember in the beginning, people were defending Taika Waititi. That's his humor. That's his humor. You find out that this guy's actually thin skinned like a mofo. Oh. He's got a sense of humor, but he's thin skinned like a mofo. So, so that initially, when he said, I'll ruin your mythos in a, in a minute, baby, I was like 50 50 on it. I was like, he could be joking. He could be saying, no, he's fucking serious. He's dead fucking serious. He doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't give a fuck. And, and all you have to do is look at his actions since then. Uh, and yeah, well, wait for this movie, you know? And um, I got to give a little shout out to Doug Ernst. Doug Ernst is like a OG culture warrior, right? He's been around, been blo you know, writing about this stuff since 2014. He did a great video on it yesterday. A little four minute video, go check it out. And and he'll he'll bring up when he first brought this up uh cuz what when I say the comics were the proving ground for all this, I'm not like bullshitting you guys this these were the that's exactly what they existed for they existed to be the proving ground so these assholes can go it happened in the comics yeah they suck too they suck too except this is actually going to be worse so as as bad as cancer thor was in the in the comic books she's going to be worse now because at least they got you got an explanation in the comic books wasn't a good one didn't like it didn't it wasn't executed very well had good art that's about it uh, it's not going to be executed well here. It'll be, as Mahler said, a passing line. He's amazing. That's all. She'll be I, I thought that, like, I can see it from your point of view as, but at the same time, with regards to how they said that they were going to ruin Chris Pratt's character and they're going to make him buy now, and all, and and that the way that they've been treating these characters in the leftist media, and also just generally speaking, how the leftist media wants to tell you that you can't have male friends unless they're gay like men can't be friends anymore it just made it so that like you gave you it gave this little hint of like oh thor and thor is a little gay for star lord and it's like i understand as is frustration though right i get it too it's, I, it's left open for question but taika watiti knew goddamn well what kind of reaction it would get right? what he's doing so yeah he's playing coy but they're using gay people that's the thing is they, yeah, they're, the, they're this, using this, the, the gay people to sorry. fucking go attack your enemies. Go on, as yeah. This is this is the thing. Uh, left the, with the left, there's no friendship. There's there's fucking there's homosexuality and there's nothing else because they are fucking mentally fucking tapped in the fucking head, right? Normal people that that's just a fucking joke that he just wanted to be included because he's Thor and he's egotistical and he's always been a bit egotistical. And a bit up himself, and he wants to be included in the I want to be loved. If Marvel want to do something with two guys being fucking gay, then fuck. I ain't gonna believe shit until fucking Star Lord <laughs> bent over with his fucking head down and ass up, and fucking Chris Hemworth slapping his fucking white ass. Okay? So Marvel either put up or fucking shut up with your fucking gay baiting bullshit. Because you bait and you bait and you bait just like fucking Doctor Who later. That fucking baited and baited, but you never fucking follow through because you never have the fucking courage to do so. Because you know what will happen if you do. You want to see tongues, as is what you're saying. You want to oh, see tongues. I, 
I want to see I want to see tongues run down throats. I want to see tongues and mm. fucking anuses. I want to see fucking schlong schlong and they say anai. 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 So I, only, God, then, I, I, only then will I believe that there's some fucking gay going on. Then I'll be a, like, okay, that, of that is pretty fucking gay. Sometimes I feel so out of the loop. I just saw that was a reference to the fact that Star-Lord and Thor still don't quite get on because they butt heads about who's the cooler, better guy. Um, and that Star-Lord was clearly like, what you need to do in life is look to the people you love for inspiration. And then it frames the Guardians and Thor's like, I'm cool too. That's how I saw it. I, I didn't realize yeah, that's that. that's how I saw it too. That's how I saw it. And then on the internet, it's like, oh my God, I'm making a The Christ internet guy. would see it. I absolutely knew how Twitter specifically would see it, not the internet. But uh, don't mean to blame the entire internet. Sorry. But uh, How dare sorry. you, Gary? No, I know. Do better. I'm on that, Gary. I'm Did you like walking internet. into that x ray girl? Hmm? I, I just yes. wasn't expecting such a. Mm -hmm. Beautiful picture. Yeah. Um, wow. Well, well, so glad you went there because I was so ready to call you a bigot. You know. <laughs> it's so descriptive, and I'm just like, I, I don't want to see that. But I mean, as does, <laughs> but I have questions. I, I didn't say what I see. I said I would only believe that they're gay when Marvel mm. actually fucking makes them uh, yeah. involved in you a know, sexual encounter with each other. Even if they do that, though, you know they'll take it out for like other countries that oh i hope so that. because then mm -hmm. i get to make more videos and call them out further sure. and then i get two sheds in the garden and not one <laughs> and then she'll apologize oh, one big one <laughs> yeah one big no, it's called a house <laughs> <laughs> no a big shed it's bubbles is shed bubbles is shed yeah with cat mountain i'm a kitty mountain here <laughs> Yeah, uh, Commandant VHS is absolutely right with his two dollar super chat. Thank you very much. That is what we're dealing with. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The jocks, uh, the the cool kids have come in and taken over our hobbies, and 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 the activists, They're, the fucktards have come in and taken over our hobbies with no respect for them whatsoever. Now it's just a fucking joke. Uh, this is like this. It's uh, uh, to bring back to Doug Ernst. It's Chris Hemsworth doing a Thor impression. That's all it mm. is. It's a Thor mm. impression. It's not acting like Thor. You go back. Somebody, I'm, I'm, for, forgive me, but somebody posted up a clip of Odin banishing Thor from Thor one. It's one of my favorite scenes in the MCU, dude. Anthony Hopkins sells this thing like he's like trying to win an Academy Award. It is so fucking good. You can you can hear the torture in his voice when he's like banishing his own son, his greedy little you know boy, uh, to teach him a lesson, you know, and it could it could end him, but he needs to learn it. And it was such a great scene. And then you look at this fucking clown show; it's not even close. Kenneth Brown now like brought a seriousness to Thor. And dude, the the Thor movie, the first one's pretty light. It's like a sitcom in the middle of it. I still like it. Yeah, I, I don't still, mind it. Yeah, because it takes itself seriously. It's dude, it's nowhere. Near, you're right. There's no. It's like. I like it. It's not the greatest thing ever, but I like it. I thought it was a good first shot at Thor, which is really tough to do, and and he pulled it off. Well, and you would have noticed as well if if you watch that movie after the latest from Chris Hemsworth, Thor. It's like Jesus Christ, these are two different characters. And you're like, yeah, they are. Hmm. Um, Thor is relatively consistent with Thor one and two, Avengers. Avengers, he's a bit more lighthearted when combined with the team. Age of Ultron, it starts getting strange, and then uh, Ragnarok. Completely changes everything. Like it's almost a retcon. People talk about it as Thor. It's it's like they rebooted Thor because they were like he's too dry or too boring. And then Infinity War took him to punish Thor, which I think all of us were like, "Ooh, all right, okay, all right, what, what, what are we doing?" And then Endgame fucked everything up. Yes, it did. Uh, we know how Tessa got her job. Yeah. So this is this is a if you don't know what this picture is, folks. Uh, the the woman on the right. That's Tessa Thompson. The woman that she's kissing is Taika Waititi's girlfriend. And the guy who's there is Taika Waititi. And, like, good on you, mate. Right. right. I mean, Tessa Thompson, maybe he gets a smirk out of her once in a while. I don't know. But uh, that's fine. Uh, but that is one of the actresses in your movie. And didn't mm -hmm. we just go through a Me Too Times Up era where mm -hmm. a bunch of people had their lives ruined and a lot of them unnecessarily, well, I won't even say unnecessarily, uh, cruelly, unjustly had their lives ruined 
And some people justly had their lives ruined. Uh, but a, a, a lot of people got fucked over who did nothing fucking wrong. And then there's this fucker, right? Because he's got the right politics can boink an actress like everybody's still fucking doing in Hollywood, by the way. Nothing's changed. Absolutely nothing's changed. Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of love and thunder going on on the set. With these, <laughs> like, yeah. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. I put. I actually put the um this very picture in in the private chat, but with the other ones because there's like four pictures. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, coming out. Good hmm? point. Oh, I was just saying. Good point to comment on VHS. Yeah. Yeah, I'll share it, Gary. Uh, da -da 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 -da. <clears throat> yeah, you got new. There you go, new set photos. The kissing Taika Waititi. Then Taika's kissing his girlfriend. Then Taika's kissing Tess. Then Tess is kissing his girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, did you see on Twitter yesterday? <laughs> so I retweeted you, right? And then somebody got mad at me for retweeting you, which like I don't care. But they said. Well, at least Taika Waititi has brought beautiful things to the world. And, and, and Nerdrotic has ruined hundreds of thousands of lives. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. <laughs> well, where's the lie, Gary? <laughs> okay, you got me. <laughs> hundreds of thousands of lives hundreds have been ruined by this. Lives I've ruined with my movie opinions. And you too, oh. Gary. You're part of this too. I wonder nice. what our kill count is. I'm not sorry. Remember, they're they're saving lives. Just imagine, think how many lives have been saved with the Eternals. Well, yeah, if you guys had said go watch mm. the Eternals, plenty of people would be alive right now. They would. I didn't watch that movie. Oops. <laughs> oh no, you're gonna die. <laughs> oh, and, hey, look. Uh, oh wow, legalized adulthood, dude. <laughs> Wow. It's the gayness of Thor. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, Uber Geek has actually done some research and he actually has spotted a thing in the trailer. If you look very carefully, <laughs> you can you can see why some oh people think God. it's a little gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh legalized adulthood. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate you. I'm gonna leave that up for a while. You know, I was like that's, fucking that's amused amazing. as well that they knock out Fat Thor probably in the first minute of the movie, and it's just like, yeah, mm. what a stupid yeah. idea. Let's move on. It's like just yep. <laughs> it's a um, minute montage and he's gone. Never should have oh, never should have done the second what, a, what a fucking waste. That was actually my favorite part of the uh, trailer where he was working out with those chain things. And I was like, finally, he's getting rid of, he's getting fit. And I thought that was the, the, the chain thing was fun with the skeleton. I was like, okay. Is this a personal cool. attack or something? Um, <laughs> you take it how, how you will, as. <laughs> Also, in the, and that's kind of how I felt about the trailer. I was like, all right, we've got rid of Fat Thor. Good. And then um, yeah. he's like, you know, struggling with the thing about Thor right now is that if we were all given this project to, to actually write, I would be like, guys, we're in trouble because Thor is like three different people. If you look at yeah. his history, he's like, what the hell Knight. do we do? And it's like, I'm not sure, but this film seems to posit we're going to be figuring him out in this one. And mm -hmm. then, oh, look, that's kind of neat. Look at this little look at Lady Thor. Oh, that's that's and it's like, eh. yeah, you put it right at the end. I'm sure she won't be in the whole movie. Okay, it's fine. I'm sure she the movie will in... still be about him. Mm. Mm. I, I, well, it'll be about him like probably fully realizing his Thor potential like at the end of the movie and then like a lot of the heavy lifting will be done by the mighty Thor by uh, female Thor female Thor you know girl she Thor, will teach Thor. I'm, I'm a little, be Thor again. I'm a little spooked that he might get killed or retired I, I thought about that I did think about it I don't I don't know if he's signed he's the only yeah, one to get a fourth solo move. Well, I say solo, you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, <laughs> he's, he's gonna get the fourth film. Uh, yeah, because uh, Captain America is getting a four. I'm sure that's going to do great. But 
Captain America. You know, in that, in that case, though, it'll have like a subtitle, right? And it's like a series now that has a replacement fucking actor instead. Like this is Chris Hemsworth headlining each of the four. So I have a feeling that they'll be like, maybe it's time for the for the for this thought of to move aside, you know. Well, they're killing room. Guardians off in the next Guardians. Yeah. yeah, they are. I expect more than half of them to go. Or didn't he say something like that? Yeah, it's a, it's a, that'll be the last one. Well, um, dude, Drax if... doesn't want to be there anymore. Like the actor, no. Chris Pratt's obviously canceled. Um, God, we're 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 losing every last thread that connects. To they the haven't see it a good way. Correct me if I'm wrong. I th I didn't. I read something like they haven't even contacted Chris Hemsworth about uh, something beyond this. So it's one of the actors. I don't know if it was Chris or not. I, memories, Swiss cheese. But um, but yeah, if you know, if they have him decide at the end of the movie, you know what? I realize I'm just not cut out for superheroing. I'm gonna go now. You, you, Jane, you take over. 